A prominent federal judge says that squeegee workers spit on his car and called him a racist. This during an encounter over the weekend that happened right in Bolton Hill. WJZ has obtained the police report with new details about the incident. And investigator Mike Elgin live downtown for us tonight with new reaction on a story that a lot of people are talking about. Mike. They are Rick and Nikki. This very judge weighed in recently on how the city has handled the squeegee issue and his role supervising the federal consent decree. He says officers can constitutionally enforce laws prohibiting squeegeeing. Here's what happened to him just two days ago. Powerful federal judge James Bradar, who is overseeing Baltimore's police reforms, called officers after an encounter with squeegee washers Sunday afternoon. At this intersection just off I 83 at Mount Royal Terrace and North Avenue. WJZ obtained the police report. It says Bradar was the passenger and his wife was driving their Toyota. Two squeegeers were very aggressive and tried to wash their windows despite them refusing multiple times. One of them gave the judge's middle finger and spit on his SUV, while another wrote racist and soap suds on the windows. We asked drivers who use the intersection regularly to weigh in. I'm very curious about the disposition and the sentiment that some of the adults and the drivers are coming to these young people with, um, because when I meet them with grace, they meet me the exact same way. I've seen them harass other people, which I think is wrong. When people have their windows up and they're like, feel threatened by people just because they're, they're there, then that creates environments where people where there's tension. Judge Bradar declined comment. Police did interview one of the washers and told him not to squeegee in the area again. No charges were filed. Squeegee washers at the intersection did not want to speak about the incident, but one told us off camera he was one of those involved, that the judge took his picture. He disputed the judge's account in the police report, but did not want to say more. The city has struggled to deal with the issue and is still working out a plan. It follows several recent violent encounters, including the death of Timothy Reynolds. Police say a 15-year-old squeegeeer shot and killed Reynolds after he confronted washers with a baseball bat in July. I think it's a big challenge for everybody on both sides, and I do think um, the solution is uh, people looking after each other and the police being here. And WJZ's news partners at the Baltimore Banner were first to report on this encounter. The judge's vehicle was not damaged. Ahead at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you what the Baltimore Police Union had to say about the whole thing. For now, we're live downtown. Mike Helgren, WJZ.